Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-animation.com Today in this lecture we will discuss how to handle iframes in Playwright So let me show you one application what do i mean by iframe and why do you need to handle iframes So as you can see this is one of the you know java documentation and you can see the multiple sections of this page So I will show you the dom structure and you will notice this particular section is coming in one frame this particular dom structure is coming in another frame and this side which you can see the main part this is also is another iframe it means in order to work with different sections you have to work on the iframe first then only you can perform operation in this example i will show you with this but the same concept will be applicable if you are working with any other application the concept will remain same okay so let me show you let's say i want to click on this java.applet let me inspect this particular option okay now if you see this is a hyperlink and if i just scroll it down and now if you notice this particular section this is coming in a frame this frame have a dedicated source this frame also have a name and this frame have a title also it means if i have to interact with this particular section first i need to switch to this frame once i will switch to this frame then i can continue with this section if you are using selectors hub then it will show you up front that this particular element is in iframe now don't get confused with frame and iframe they both are same similarly let's say i want to perform some operation on this part let's say i want to click on this particular you know abstract actions class again you will notice here if i scroll up let me inspect again so this is the hyperlink right if i scroll up this is a separate html and it is wrapped with this particular frame this frame has dedicated source name title and so on and let's say if i want to inspect this abstract action and this has another iframe which is this one so basically this page have three different frames or iframe in order to work on any of the section first you have to go to that frame then only you can start working on the elements now if you don't have iframe no need to uh, go through this but in, in most of the applications you will find frames and iframe in that case you have to switch and continue so technically what is iframe let me show you one diagram so suppose you have one html page okay let's say this is your html page if you have any requirement that you want to display or you want to show another application or some part of another application in this page basically in simple words when you want to embed one application into another application you can use the concept of frame So let's say in this application i want to show one part of the application on this side i want to embed another application here i want to embed an another application here so i can use the concept of frame so this frame can highlight one another application this particular frame can highlight another application and this i frame can highlight another application okay so frame is nothing but a html tag which will allow you to embed another application This is one application let me show you one more let's say this is redbus so redbus is one of the site which will allow you to book bus and cabs and other things so if i click on this login let's say i want to enter some phone number here if i inspect wait it's loading the page here So this particular, if I put mouse over, this is my element. But if I scroll up a little bit, you will notice this particular model. If I scroll up, this one. So this complete model frame is highlighted, right? It means if I want to work with this model frame, I need to switch to the frame. Then only I can enter the phone number. I can click on this button. I can click on this button, and I can perform anything. So basically this is my iframe. So this application which I showed you it was having frame tag 
this has iframe tag but when it comes to handling them with playwright the concept will remain same yeah like this you can find many application i will stick to this one because the concept will remain same for other as well so i have already created one spec file and i already have one test here and i have given the name is handle frames and this is one of the page context now let's start i will first open the url so as usual i will use page dot go to and then i will provide the application url now once you load this url what i want to have i want to perform i want to click on let's say java dot applet now first i will show you that if i don't use frame concept how it behaves so this basically this is a hyperlink and this is a text so if you go to selector sub you will find that this is the expa that you can use right i can use this or i can write one more xpath get find hyperlink and where the text is equal to java dot applet and you can see it's highlighted if you want to verify you can copy paste it here now here it's not highlighting sorry it's highlighting now it's highlighting one of two one is basically here right and one more is there which is this so when i write the xpath one is matching with this and one is matching with this so we'll go with the first one which will highlight this part so copy this and now i will try to click so first i will use page dot locator then i will use this xpath and let me try clicking obviously it will fail because this particular element is in frame right now i have not switched to the frame directly i'm trying to click let's see what happens now let me execute this i will be using this playwright commands so npx playwright test and inside my test folder which is this i'm going to run handle frame dot spec dot js which is this file i'm running in a headed mode so that you can see the execution and right now i want to run only on the chromium if you don't provide any other additional argument it will run in the headless mode and by default it will run in all the browsers that you have configured in our, in your playwright.config.js file let's execute this first so it will start running one test using one worker and yes it started now notice here it's not clicking because the moment it will click it will go inside this package why it is not able to click because it is trying to find this particular element on the main page but this particular element is coming inside a frame right so it will wait playwright have this awesome feature called automatic waiting so it's waiting and after waiting a certain interval you will notice it's failing right and if i show you maximum time it has waited 30 second which is 30000 millisecond fine so let me stop this and if you want to see the report it will show you a report like this that time out exceeded it waited till 30 second since it was not able to find and it finally failed we know the reason so let's quickly switch to the frame very easy concept what you have to do first you have to use uh, await then use page and the moment you type frame you will find one method called frame locator which says you provide me the locator which will help me to find frame then it will return you that particular frame okay so frame locator which will ask you selector and this one return you frame locator basically using this frame locator you can click type whatever actions you want to perform you can do that so how to find selectors for frame very easy let's say this is the frame that we want to locate 
so this is your web element scroll up so this is a this is li if you come up this is a dedicated html and this is your frame now since you have src you have a name you have a title you can use any of these locators to find your frame so you can use title you can use name you can use src let me use this name so i can write a quick xpath here that first of all find a frame which which have name equal to package list frame so it's highlighting that frame right you can copy this come back here and use that locator here and see it says when working with iframes you can create a frame locator that will enter in the frame so basically when i say switch it means you are entering inside that frame and allow selecting element in that frame so once you get this frame locator once you're inside the frame you can perform any activity inside that frame so let me store that into a separate variable let me call this as iframe now whatever activity i will do i will use this iframe it can be any other variable name you can write a b c x y z as well i want to keep it meaningful so i will use this iframe and using this i will now locate that element which is our java.applet and then i will perform click operation and it will close immediately so what i will do i can use uh, await page dot pause so that it will pause the script and i can show you the output let me execute again the same spec file in the headed mode with project equal to chromium so again running and yes it started now notice here it will click on that java.applet and yes you can see it clicked on it and right now you can see all the interfaces it's highlighted here now since i have added page.pause you will also get this play data inspector basically because of this now uh, since we added pause we have this inspector and it will be in a pause state until i don't execute so the moment i resume this it will complete my test and now you can see test passed we are able to click on this particular element which is inside this frame like this you can switch to any other frame you can go inside that frame and do whatever operations you want to perform inside that frame very easy but uh, very important so please give a try and let me know if you face any issue okay so that's all about this video in case if you like this video do share with your friends and colleagues and in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel so that you will get all the updates related to test automation thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care